Yeah.
We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today we reach week 15 and we've got a good matchup in store between the Houston Texans and the Baltimore Ravens. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. for the Ravens, and they were excellent a week ago in the win over Pittsburgh. And I think our statistician we ended up having to bring the blue tent and put it around him for a while because he was developing a hand injury from having to write down all the turnovers this team forced. Five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely unbelievable. I hope he'll recover. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Goodson, he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. And this will be a Texans first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. They go play action with Willis. That's Bush. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And hey, when you get good yards like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Play action, here's Willis. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. A rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. 
Here comes the seventh play in this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Here's Willis. And got his man. It's caught. <laughs> Touchdown, Houston. A great play there. With touchdown number eight on the year. And the Texans will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Out of his end zone comes Andy Isabella. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second and nine, Jackson will find Dobbins out of the backfield. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So they decline it as that will bring up four. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties, and they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. A seven-yard return following a punt for 45 yards. And the Texans will take over. <clears throat> Good starting field position for the Houston Texans here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards is the tally on first down. It brings up second and five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, Goodson. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. But they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Let's go now. They go play action with Willis. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. 
Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. On second down now, Goodson. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll keep it on the ground. Goodson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Second down, Willis looks to throw here. A quick throw there, going to be battled away. Willis got a man on the right sideline it's Bush they're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal that's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game but plays like this are critical to keep drives going and if points result we'll call this play significant Hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Texans have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Isabella now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The 
The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And he'll have this pass the 30. Got it going out of bounds. First catch there for OBJ. And that good for a first down. These guys are definitely better than played in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Jackson on first down. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. The Ravens had 10 and 3 on the year. They've been playing their best football of the year. Winners are four in a row. And I thought they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. Here's Jackson to throw. It's caught. Back up. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first half. But this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Play action. It's Jackson. He completes it to Beckham. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they come out and reestablish the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They go back to the ground with Dobbins. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. And he will score! Touchdown, Baltimore! Rashad Bateman, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Ravens are back within a score. Tucker with the extra point. And they make that score 15-7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three. Because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. I like the way that they've started. The way that they're going about doing things right now, they've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Play action, Willis. He sets to fire deep, and this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Houston! Well, CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns.
An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Now Dobbins again on second down. Room here to run. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. No gain on the play there. Second down. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and break it and not get free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Play action. Now Jackson. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Just a move. wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. But defensively, they're doing everything they can to protect this early lead after giving up a touchdown on their last drive. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. It's caught by OBJ. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. We're going to do it. Jackson rolling to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson, that ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Now another timeout call for him by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So 
on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Tucker's kick is good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football, something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. So we have reached halftime here. It's the visitors, the Texans out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Ravens set to receive the football, trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. at the line set to get going as they begin their second half here Charles offensively you know not where they want to be obviously they're losing in this ball game but very much within striking distance we'll see what adjustments they make in the second half is that the scoreboard but they're definitely opportunities now because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one Get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it, and I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he's got room. And they will finally get him to the ground at the Texans 28. 62 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. For a lot of people, the MVP award means a quarterback award usually, but over 100 yards again last week. And they're going to have to look his way more than once when giving out this award this season, I think. Yeah, it's not just the consistency. It's been some plays that we've seen, but we talk about it for weeks thereafter. That's what we're getting out of him over 100 yards last week. Expects to continue that in this game, too. Now Jackson on first down. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. <laughs> but linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Here's a give to Dobbins running right. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Jackson. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least. If they make a field goal, turns out to be the better call here. Tucker's kick is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. 
You jump into your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. First and ten, it's Willis. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Caught that look from you there, Paul. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Now Willis on first and ten. He's going to air one out. And this one is incomplete. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times, trying to target him again deep there, but unsuccessful. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Now a give right side. Goodson. And he is going to lose yardage here. That second down play nets a minus four. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Here's Willis on third and long. And that will be incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this position knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the river. They'll take it. Just I like the way we're getting. There he goes, right side. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out of your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, skyrocket. right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Goes right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown, so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. He's got a man complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run on first down. Goodson. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. And the big fella stuck that one up in a big red. I think doubling him has a real priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Second down, here's Willis. And this is caught in 
inside the five. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. It's a gain of 34. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense from back at the four here's second and goal second down throw coming by Willis and he's got it touchdown Lawrence Cager from four yards out and the Texans have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. a yard here second and nine from the 26. They'll go again with Dobbins. And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. The Ravens on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. They go play action with Jackson. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. This is brought in at the 21. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. They run the counter, Goodson. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain, second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. 
and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around <laughs> campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Six to pick up the first. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. The keeper nets him only a yard, and that's going to bring up third. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run about short gains, the risk reward him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. An option handoff here to Dobbins. A limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now it's Jackson. And incomplete on the deep ball. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing is Jackson. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. No hesitation. Goes right back to Likely. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. To throw again on second down. Jackson on target to his man, likely. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 33. And Jackson throwing once more. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And he's got a first down there after a game of about 20. As the clock will stop right now for the two to the Jackson. 
Jackson on first down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Yeah, yeah. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Jackson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about it if I'm on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. Jackson. And he comes back with one complete. Yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. Tucker's kick is good, and this is back down to a seven-point game. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you outside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position. With all three timeouts, I kick it deep and try and pick it back there. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. A run there on first down going nowhere as he stopped right at the 25. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. down and move the chains. Willis to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jump the ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And here's Roberto Sanchez. That's who put it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, Yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. 
Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, does it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, he may very well run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing, Jackson. He's going to let it fly. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. Back-to-back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Jackson to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here we go, it's Jackson on fourth down. That is caught, Bateman. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. Now it looks like he'll throw here. The 20, 10. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Well, I think we all understand his disappointment. He didn't quite get to the end zone, and you know it's just got to be tough to see a yard line underneath you after a play like that. Still, all in all, a huge play, and now they're set up first and goal at the one. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Here's Willis. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. And I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's you create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Isabella now from his end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. Here's Jackson. And he's going to go down. Back in his own five-yard line. It's a sack. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Pass complete, it's likely. And they work this out past the 25. So no shortage of offense in this game. A very clean game, too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? 